Hi, my name is Sister Tukuafu. I'm from Tonga and this mission has been a very humbling experience. It's been a hard one as well. Just last month, I lost my dad. He lost his battle to um, COVID-19 and he passed away while I was here serving in California, San Jose. While we were having dinner, my brother calls me and tells me, Sister Tukwafu, you have to say bye now. And I get on the call and my dad is starting to flatline and I'm crying and I, I bear my testimony to him one last time. And I say, um, I tell him, I'll see you later, dad. It was probably like the scariest experience of my life. I, I've never felt so far away from my family while being so near, because they're still here in the, in the States, but I'm, I didn't get the chance to mourn with them. I don't, I don't have the opportunity to hug my mom or hug my siblings and tell them that it's okay. Before I came out, when my dad, and my, when my family was driving me to the airport, my dad looked at me right before I uh, hugged him goodbye. He looked at me and told me, Sister Tukwafu, when you go on your mission, whatever happens, don't come back. And I took that to heart. When he passed away, I messaged my mom, I called her and I told her, I'm, although I can't be there for the funeral, I know I'm doing my dad's will. No matter what happens, even losing him, I was gonna stay out here on the mission. In the Tongan culture, um, we believe that the most beautiful feature a woman has is her hair. We leave our hair out to grow. Ever since, we, ever since we're born, we don't cut our hair. We leave it out to grow, we nourish it, we take care of it. And the only one that's allowed to ever touch your hair, to cut it, is your father's sister. And the only time your father's sister would ever cut your hair is when your father passes away. And in order to honor him one last time as your father, as your dad, you cut your, the most beautiful feature you have about you. You cut that full set of hair. You cut it for him. You show the world that you are mourning. You show the world that your father is more important to you than anything else in this world. I was able to um, have my dad's auntie come all the way from Utah to cut my hair because his sisters are not here. They're in Tonga. My auntie flew all the way from Utah because I begged her, I cried, I asked her to please come. And she came and when she cut my hair, I felt that everything, all the things that I couldn't do because I couldn't go home for the funeral, I didn't want to go home to the funeral. I felt all that burden was lifted off when my hair was cut. She cut it right to my neck because I asked her to cut it shorter because my siblings did everything. They carried the burden that I should have. They carried, they carried the weight of the funeral when I should have been the one. So in order to honor him even more, I cut it even shorter. And I just felt the weight off my shoulders being lifted. So the most important thing I've learned is to love, to love not only my family, but to love God, to put God above anything else, in, uh, uh, to put him above anything else that happens in my life. My invitation to the world, I know everyone is going through hard things. A lot of people are suffering. This year has been a year of trial, a year of hurt. But I want you all to know that it's okay. Our Savior Jesus Christ, he lives. He knows what you're going through. He doesn't want you to suffer alone. During this trial in my life, I've never felt more comfort than to serve here in the California San Jose Mission. I've never felt more love for my Savior Jesus Christ. And I want to bear with you my testimony that when you do turn to our Savior in all things, He will not leave you alone. He will not let you suffer alone. He will come to you. He will comfort you. And I know this to be true. 
I know he lives. I know he loves you. And I say these things in the name of Christ. Amen.